We begin with growing concerns as the spread of the monkeypox virus has many wondering about the vaccine that protects against infection. And we're taking a closer look at who should and who should not consider getting vaccinated right now. There are now two vaccines available to protect against monkeypox. One was first developed for smallpox, but does offer protection against monkeypox as well. And a newer vaccine specifically for monkeypox, which is the one being used locally. It is a live, non-replicating uh, virus vaccine. So it is a little bit different than, say, the COVID vaccines that we've, been, that we've become very familiar with. The vaccine creates an immune response by exposing the patient to the actual virus, but in a way that it cannot reproduce and cause an infection, with some potential exceptions. There are a few contraindications to this vaccine, uh, one being that you have immune deficiency, whether that's an acquired immune deficiency, like say from HIV virus, or if you have an inherent immune deficiency, or if you're on immunosuppressive medication, such as a chemotherapy or a medication for autoimmune disease. Infectious disease experts say the vaccine is safe for people with a healthy immune system, but is currently not recommended for the general public, only those at risk for infection. The doctor says that includes those who come in contact with an infected person and in this current outbreak, men who have sex with men. In this community who are sexually active, uh, especially in this area in Broward County, we have, uh, there has been a push to vaccinate those individuals. There's also a push to, in, uh, to vaccinate individuals who work in uh, medical laboratories who handle the specimens. The vaccine also not indicated for people who are allergic to any of the ingredients. Unlike COVID, though, this virus is spread through direct contact and no one has died from this outbreak. However, mon monkeypox can lead to other problems, things like pneumonia, other infections, and those independently can be deadly. The side effects from the vaccine are pretty typical. They're pain at the injection site, low-grade fever, a generalized muscle ache, pains and fatigue. All of that, of course, attributed to your body's immune response.